Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. In this frame, there is an inclined member AB, horizontal member BC, and a vertical member CD. There is no member load. In the point B, we have a nodal point load 20 kN. Since this load is acting towards the right side, this frame will sway towards the right side. Length of the horizontal member is 5 meter. The height of the vertical member is 4 meter. We have to find the inclined length of AB. We can use Pythagoras theorem. Here we have 4 meter and here we have 3 meter. Root of 3 square plus 4 square we will get AB which is 5 meter. Let us see how the displacement occurs in this frame. Due to this nodal point load, the frame will deflect in this shape. Now we can connect the point A and this point, this point and this point, this point and the point D. This horizontal distance can be taken as a delta which is the sway. Then from the point B also we can mark the sway. From this point let us make a vertical line and then let us connect this point and the point B. Let us name this height as a delta vertical and this inclined length as a delta inclined. We need to find delta V and delta I in the terms of delta. This angle will be 90 degree. So this angle and this angle will be same. So if it is theta, this angle also will be theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, cos theta is equal to 4 upon 5. We will get 0 0.8. In this triangle, cos theta is equal to delta upon delta i. We know that both of these angles are same. So the value of cos theta also will be same. So instead of cos theta, we can apply 0 0.8. Finally, we will get the relation delta i is equal to 1.25 delta. Now in this triangle, let us find tan theta that will be equal to 3 upon 4. We will get 0 0.75. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta v upon delta. Instead of tan theta, we can apply 0 0.75. Finally, we will get the relation delta v is equal to 0 0.75 delta. For the inclined member AB, we have to consider this way 1.25 delta. For the horizontal member BC, we have to consider 0 0.75 delta and for the vertical member CD, we have to consider delta. We know that in this frame, there is no member load. So all of the fixed end moments are zero. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the inclined member AB. We know that the fixed end moments are zero. Since this member is subjected to sway, with the equations, we have to add the sway moments. For this member, the sway is 1.25 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply 1.25 delta. We know that the sway occurs towards the right side. If the sway occurs towards the right side, the sway moments will be negative. Length of AB is 5. Let us apply that. Since in the point A there is a fixed support, theta A will be equal to 0. Finally, in the inclined member AB, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the horizontal member BC. We know that in this member also we have the displacement. This displacement we can consider as sinking. 
we have solved the problems with the singing of supports we know that if the singing occurs on the left side the singing movements will be positive here the singing occurs on the left side so these two movements should be taken as positive we know that for bc the displacement is 0.75 delta so instead of delta we have to apply 0.75 delta length of bc is 5 let us apply that finally in bc we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the vertical member cd we know that it is subjected to sway so with the equations we have to add the sway movements since the sway occurs towards the right side the sway movements should be applied as negative length of cd is 4 let us apply that in the point d there is a fixed support so theta d will be equal to 0 finally in the member cd we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b when we add mba and mbc it will be zero from the slope deflection equations let us apply the expressions for mba and mbc when we add them we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number seven similarly in the joint c when we add mcb and mcd we will get zero let us apply the expressions for mcb and mcd after adding them we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number eight in this analysis there are three unknowns theta b theta c and delta but we have only two equations we have to make one more equation let us take the inclined member a b we are going to make the third equation in this process we have to always assume that the movements are acting in the clockwise direction this is the free body diagram of the member a b no need to consider this reaction this reaction should be perpendicular to a b that means this angle should be 90 degree let us name the reaction as r a let us take movement about to b and find r a both of these two movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive r a is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that will be negative and the distance is 5 so minus 5 r a finally for r a we will get m a b plus m b a upon 5 in the similar way we can take the vertical member c d and find out the reaction h d here also we have to assume that the movements m d c and m c d are acting in the clockwise direction when we take movement about c we can get h d which is equal to m d c plus m c d upon 4 now we have to extend the line a b and d c up to a point where both of them meet let us name the meeting point as o we have to find the height o d for 3 meter the height is 4 so for 3 it is 4 but i need the height for 8 meter so we have to multiply with 8 when we do that we will get this height which is 32 upon 3 meter to find this height we have to subtract 4 by 32 upon 3 when we do that we will get 20 upon 3 meter we need to find the distance of oa for 3 meter the inclined distance is 5 so for 3 it is 5 but i need for 8 meter so we have to multiply with 8 when we do that we will get this distance which is 40 upon 3 now let us take a moment about to O. R A is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For R A we have to take this distance which is 40 upon 3. 
this load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it is also negative for this load this is the perpendicular distance which is 20 upon 3 both of the movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive hd is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative for hd we have to take this distance which is 32 upon 3 for these two reactions there is no perpendicular distance so we should not consider both of them we can multiply this equation by 3 when we do that we will get this equation we can take minus 400 on the other side so that it will come as positive for RA and HD we have made these expressions so instead of RA and HD we can apply them after simplifying we will get this then for our own comfort we can change the signs on both of the sides now for MAB, MBA, MTC and MCD we can apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations after that we can simplify when we do that we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number 9 now there are three equations number 7, 8 and 9 now we can use a calculator and solve these three equations when we solve we will get a theta b a theta c and a delta if you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video when we apply the values of a theta b and a delta in the equation number one we will get mab when we apply the values of a theta b and a delta in the equation number two we will get mba when we apply the values of a theta b a theta c and a delta in the equation number three we will get mbc when we apply the values of a theta b a theta c and a delta in the equation number four we will get mcb when we apply the values of a theta c and a delta in the equation number 5 we will get mcd and when we apply the values of ea theta c and ea delta in the equation number 6 we will get mdc in this analysis we have calculated all of the movements for mab mba mcd and mdc we have got negative values that means all of them are acting in the anti clockwise direction for MBC and MCB, we have got positive values. That means both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Now, using the direction of the movements, we can draw the bending moment diagram for RA and HD. Previously, we have made these two expressions. Using these two expressions, we can find HD and RA. For HD and RA, we will get negative values, that means the assumed directions are incorrect. HD will be acting towards the left side and RA will be acting towards this side. Using HD, we can find HA 20 minus 8.24, we will get 11.76. HA also will be acting towards the left side. Now let us take the member BC. This is the movement MBC and this is the movement MCB. By taking movement about C, we can find VB. In BC, there is no load, so BB and VC will be same. BB will be acting downwards and VC will be acting upwards. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.